Hello again guys, it's Carly from the Poetry of Nice and I have my weekly sales update video for you again. So this is going to be for the dates June 29th through the July the 5th and I have Etsy, Poshmark and eBay for you today. What I'll do is take you through every single item like I usually do and I will let you know where I picked the item up, roughly how long it was listed for if I can remember and I'll try and let you know how much I paid for each individual item. I usually just mention that my average cost of goods across the board like when I submit my yearly numbers to my CPA for example is an average of a dollar 69 per item um I have a feeling it'll be a little bit higher for 2020 since thrifting's a bit different, but that's okay. But yes, $1.69 usually, but I will try and let you know what I paid for items um, as I'm going through, just so you can see sort of like where I choose to spend up a bit and where I choose to kind of like try and be really, really frugal, in case that's interesting to you. Um, and then right at the end, I'll give you all of my numbers for the week. So here we go. So Etsy, first of all, I've had this item for ages, like two years almost. I kept it because I liked it. I liked the style and I figured eventually somebody else would fall in love with it too and they did so vintage faux suede um it was very kind of like it's quite bright burnt orange actually i have to say um just a jacket with this like ruffle peplum hem kind of like boho western vibes this is the label lily of california i don't know anything about that brand particularly but it was vintage and i thought it was cool just like based on style alone and it sold for 49.95 and of course plus shipping as well because i don't really do free shipping anymore so 49.95 on that um Oh, and I think that was from a rummage sale. These were also, I think, picked up from a rummage sale. A lot of things are, especially my vintage items. Um, and they were a vintage 90s purple chiffon style wide leg shorts very high rise again um again picked them up just because i thought they were cool this is a 90s brand i come across quite a lot actually pasta and i, I usually quite like their items so again this would have been really really cheap just like the other item because it would have been a rummage sale maybe like a buck or two if that and these sold for 24.95 and they were listed for about eight months i think all right on to poshmark so i'm glad with etsy i'm glad that i got a few things from etsy because it's been a while honestly hopefully that will pick up a bit more as we go Okay, Under Armour Black Athletic sort of golf style shorts, men's. These sold in about two days of being listed, so a great quick flip, and they sold for 15 I paid $2 at a rummage sale just a couple of weeks ago. You would have seen them in a recent haul video if you watched those. Unfortunately, they did have a couple of these light marks, almost like little bleach marks on the back. Very, very light, but definitely there. So they did kind of devalue them a bit, but they still sold, like I said, two days for $15. So even after fees, that's a good like $10 profit for a quick easy flip and I don't mind that at all. All right, Lane Bryant Tropical Floral Print the Alley Pants. I picked these up because I thought they were super cool. Um, I had them listed at 25. They had quite a lot of interest, I have to say, uh, on both eBay and Poshmark, but eventually I went back and forth with a buyer and we landed on 17 without any kind of shipping discount. And I felt like that was fair. And they cost me $2 at a thrift store. Um, and again, were a recent purchase. So they sold in about a week. And um, this item was from a filler bag rummage sale. So this is going to be like, pennies probably less than 50 cents at this point um tea collection just a little shawl neck sweater this was a size 12 months so like a little infant sweater this is a really nice child's brand to pick up um again i only really pick it up when it is like a filler bag i wouldn't put a lot of money into it but it did sell for 14 dollars still which is not bad for a little baby boy's sweater um, this was a recent pickup as well and sold within about two to three days of being listed. So another nice quick flip. Um, G, this is kind of like a very like boho style, wholesale boutique style brand. This is the label. I am fairly picky with what I pick up from them. However, if it's like a buck or less, I'll still grab it. Um, I paid $2 for this piece, but that's because it was kind of more out there. As you can see, it was like a sort of long ethnic kimono style cover up. Uh, definitely sort of a bit more to it than a lot of their usual just like popover blouses and stuff. So I paid $2 at a yard sale um, recently and it sold very quickly for 27. Uh, this was another item that I only just picked up at yard sales, I think potentially the same day as that um one I just showed you, um, Altered State. I picked this up based on style. It was like a maxi dress, but it had a big split up the side. And then you can kind of see some of the detail here at the neckline, kind of like a halter neck um, with some cutout detail, gorgeous like floral print all over. Here is the tag. Again, I'm sparing with this. I paid $2 for this dress. I don't think I would have paid any more for it. And it sold, again, in under a week for $20. 
All right, next item, a vintage East West Traveler fanny pack. I love these vintage 90s fanny packs. Um, the plain black ones, like faux leather ones, always seem to go sort of between 15 to 20 for me, usually on Etsy, but sometimes on Poshmark as well, not so much on eBay. Um, and so when it's like a filler bag at a rummage sale or everything's like 25 cents or whatever, I'll almost always grab them because they're just great kind of filler and they always seem to sell. Okay, Keen Pink Newport H2 Waterproof Sandals, $15. These have sat and sat. I think it's because they definitely look a little bit worn with the coloration there. Um, and yeah, so <laughs> these weren't the best pickup in the world, unfortunately, but that's okay. I only paid like a dollar or two for them, I think. Um, I'd probably not pick them up quite so used next time. This item is another one that I've kind of held on to for a while because I thought it was cool enough to like to not sell it short if you know what I mean. I've had plenty of offers on it but usually like $15, $20 and I didn't want to do that. So I picked this up at a rummage sale. I paid I think dresses were $3. Um, very very 90s. I love that it had this like uh, kind of low V and then the sides were all buttoned down. Unfortunately there was one button missing. Isn't that always the way? But you can kind of see here both sides were all buttoned down. Almost like a little overall like bib dress. Really kind of cool. Sold for $35 and that's probably been listed for I want to say like maybe eight or nine months this item has been over a year but it's quite specific and sometimes these vintage items they're longer tail they just need to wait for the right buyer but as you can imagine this was super easy to list and super easy to store so out of sight out of mind all that good stuff and um, it was a vintage like knit headband kind of like skiing and things like that I thought it was cool 65% uh, wool sold for $14 there on a best offer um, this was in a lot of clothes that I got from a local thrift store way back when all the safer at home started. I ended up paying them $90 and I basically said to them like, could you just put 50 women's items, assorted women's items in bags and I'll, I'll pay you for them or whatever. It was a bit of an experiment. I didn't end up documenting it because quite frankly, I didn't get almost anything really that was worth showing that's hard to say and I'm really glad that they worked with me don't get me wrong I'm extremely grateful for that we could kind of do each other a favor um but yeah I didn't really show that haul so I have a lot of like very very like sort of low-end bread and butter items that I decided to kind of list for sort of 10 to 12 dollars here and there to add you know people can add to bundles and things like that but anyway long story short this is one of them so it's westbound I'm not really familiar with the brand again it's kind of lower end but it's just a royal blue open like shrug cardigan um, and it sold for ten dollars there so I definitely made my money back and just a you know a couple of dollars profit and at the end of the day um I will make my money back it won't be a problem and it's a lesson learned so there we go all right um junk food in collaboration with Disney retro 90th Mickey pins buttons they're finally gone this was the last pack of them they sold for 10 these were a retail arbitrage fail I picked them up in clearance and target when the whole collaboration with junk food was kind of over um and they have uh, they've slow slowly sold and I've made like maybe four dollars or so profit each time um if that honestly maybe even just made my money back it was a bit of a fail they just didn't do that well and pretty much anything that I do retail arbitrage doesn't seem to do that well I guess I have a lot to learn and that's okay I'm going to stick to my second hand items for now um but yes at least they're all gone now and I've recouped my investment and we move on don't we all right eBay here we go uh Venezia which is like in under the umbrella of Lane Bryant green Asian floral tie knot blouse and um, this was a recent pickup from a rummage sale um the first and only rummage sale that I think I'll be going to this season so uh, I'll link that up above and hopefully you will check that out and see how that was for me and um, this sold for $16 on a best offer so not too bad at all and I would have paid two dollars for that at that particular sale uh, Worth New York again pay, uh, spend two dollars at a thrift store I like Worth it is a very very expensive brand when it comes like retail and um, but resale is not so much however I really liked this piece it was very loud kind of like abstract almost like a daisy type print um, and it sold for 23 really quickly it sold in about um, a sort of one to two weeks I'd originally like sworn off this brand saying it never sold for me but recently I've been picking it up again and it has been selling so we'll see how that goes so two dollars into it $23 in um, sold in about a week to two weeks 
Um, this was from a rummage sale filler bag again, so very much just filler, bread and butter, Nike hot pink polo shirt, kind of like tennis style, sold for $15.99, full price. Dansko, I picked these up recently and I picked them up at a thrift store, so I would have paid $3 for these particular ones. They had some really nice embroidery and um, I went back and forth with the buyer. We spoke, she was lovely and we ended up settling on 35 which to me is pretty fair for used Danskos. It's not too bad at all um, and she was really happy and said she'll come back, so I hope she does. I'm glad she's pleased. Uh, J. Crew Cobalt Blue uh chino shorts they were size zero so very very small i think these came in a free inventory box someone very kindly gifted to me um, and they sold for 16.99 plus shipping so wonderful uh newer tags madison studio linen blend high rise wide leg bermuda shorts there's a lot going on here <laughs> There's a lot to unwrap, um, but they sold for 15. I only grabbed them in a rummage sale filler bag because they were new with tags. That's really it. And they sold for 15, like I said, plus that shipping. They were probably listed for about a year as well. Uh, the next two items were both from the same buyer, so they kind of went out together. There are these old navy black and white polka dot shorts. I picked them up recently for $2 at a... Um, thrift store near me for me but i didn't really like them that much when i tried them on so i decided to list them so they sold very quickly within a couple of days and they were also uh, paired with this which sold really quickly this was from a yard sale i actually bought this from my neighbors right across the road from me vineyard vines um white and pink flip cuff silk trim button-up shirt women's size eight paid a dollar at the yard sale and those two items together sold for 25 plus the shipping as well and the last item is this that came from uh, that rummage sale again. So $2 for this because it was a woman's shirt. Chico, size three, animal print. You can't go wrong. It's totally in right now. And it's sold in, ugh, it's sold once in like a day of being listed. And then the person wanted to cancel because they hadn't realized they bought the same top twice, which is fine. So I canceled it and then it sold again like a day later. So twice it sold really quickly, which probably tells you that it's this kind of stuff is maybe, you know, fairly popular right now. And it sold for a best offer of $20 plus the shipping. All right, so that's a total of 22 individual items sold this week. So here come the numbers. Um, My gross sales for the week was $433.88. My cost of goods, again, I talk about that $1.69 average cost of goods so times 22 items would be $37.18 my fees which I always class as 20% because Poshmark's 20% eBay when you add in all like you know subscriptions stuff like that it gets very very close to 20% and I like to try and be pretty much like you know conservative and just I don't know 20% is pretty much what I land on that that's a good estimate for what you could expect to spend when selling on these platforms so that would be $86.78 so that would make my net profit this week from that $37 investment my net profit would be $309.92 happy enough with that that's very average for me um yeah I'm, I'm pleased it's I haven't been working necessarily any harder uh, so yeah it's nice to maintain I'm very very grateful to be able to maintain things right now absolutely All right, you guys let me know down in the comments how your sales are going have you had the summer slowdown i have to say touch wood i haven't really seen a summer slowdown and i wonder if that's because it was slow anyway you know back in march everything kind of slowed down so maybe it just hasn't hit me as hard um but yeah i'm not really experiencing anything too too destitute right now thank you very much i'm very grateful yes um so let me know down in the comments how it's going for you i hope it's going well if you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up and if you're new here and you like thrifty content and stuff about reselling and making profits online please do think about hitting the subscribe button and coming back and hanging out some more if you're interested in getting some sneaky behind the scenes content and supporting this channel please check out information about becoming a member to the channel that's down the description box and of course by clicking the join button next to the subscription button on the channel page and guys i'll catch you in the next video Bye.